What is up guys and welcome back to another hardcore let's play episode. This is episode 18 and in today's episode we're going to be working on a villager breeder and if we have time a villager trading hall. Now we're going to be building this in this kind of farm general area I think. Uh, we've got the sugarcane and melon farm of course and pumpkins as well as the tree farm and the cobble farm and we're probably going to be building some more farms in this area. It seems like a pretty open nice area so I think yeah a lot of farms are going to be here as well as the villager trading hall probably and the villager breeder. First off though we're going to get started building the villager breeder though so sit back relax and yeah enjoy. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we have built most part of the villager breeder. Now if you guys are watching, you can also see I finally got the replay mod to get working. Um, which is a great thing, because the first person time lapses I think were starting to get a little boring. And these kind of time lapses are going to be a lot better for what we're building. And we are going to be doing a lot of building in this series, so... But now, we do have the base form of the villager breeder. Now, comes the actually tricky part. Up until now, it's just been pretty easy just building out the stuff. Which, you know, you gotta do on every build. But that's the easy part. Now, we have the challenging part. Which, of course, as always, is gonna be moving villagers. Now, we need to move our villagers, at least two of them, from here all the way up to the farm over there. Now, I'm gonna have to figure out which villagers I wanna do. Probably not the masters. We'll probably just go with uh, some of the more useless librarians, like a silk touch librarian, and uh, this guy's pretty useless. So, uh, actually, it does need to be a farmer, doesn't it? So, it looks like we're gonna be moving this guy, guys. This guy's definitely gonna be one of them. And then just another random one. So what I'm going to have to do is, of course, I am going to have to build some kind of system to transport them from here all the way over to here. Um, we're probably going to be using a minecart unless... There's another way possible, but I really do not think there is. So yeah, that means I have to build a really long minecart track all the way to here. Alright guys, as you can see, we have now connected everything up. All we gotta do is capture the villagers now. Oh boy, I'm gonna make some more minecarts. It's strange to think that I used to actually live in here, isn't it? It was so long ago. Alright, so. We need the farmer. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Go, go over there. Um, crud. Alright, we're going to do that. And then just try and move him into the path of the minecart. Come on! Come on, bro. Come on. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh. 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 Now that is the wrong way, isn't it? 
Come on. Yep, yep, yep. There we go, guys. All right. We have the first villager on his way. And this is the most important villager because after this, we can just use any of the guys we want. But the first guy does have to be a farmer. And since I did, as you can see, run out of uh, powered rails, we are going to have to push him a bit. Uh, which is whatever. It's not ideal, but you know it could be worse, right? Oh, he might actually make it. Look at that. Oh, wow. He had enough momentum to basically make it there. Bam. Uh, let's see. You don't want to hit him. There we go. He's in there, guys. We did it. We got our first villager. Now, we just have to grow grab the second one. And now it's been a few hours, and as you can see, the villager breeder, it seems to be working pretty well, doesn't it, guys? Look at that. Wow, we have a lot of villagers now. Uh, I think we actually have enough for quite a bit of time, which is why I actually, uh, I decided that we're actually going to close it for now. I turned off the farm by placing a block here, because right now we just don't need any more villagers, because we really... <laughs> We really have quite a few, don't we? Um, one thing that I did actually do wrong, though, is... I kind of built this wrong. It needs to be... Alright, guys. So, in case you didn't, in case I didn't say it, actually, what we're doing right now is we're going to be working on the zombie creation part of... The villager breeder. This is leading into the trading hall. Uh, we're going to, of course, need zombies uh, to turn the, zom the villagers into zombie villagers. So without that, the trades are terrible. So we're going to have the zombie stand right here. And he's going to attack the villagers as they come by. Now, we do want to make sure that once these are guys are zombie villagers, we don't want them to burn. So we are going to put a slight roof up here and this from here is when the villagers are actually going to be cured so from here on we're going to lead it over into the trading hall which i'm not sure completely where it's going to be built we could have it go underneath this or we could have it go somewhere like over there or we could even go underground i don't know yet but i do know that it's going to be a fairly large trading hall so we do want to actually think about how we're going to do that. But for now, 
is what we're doing. We already need some buttons. So we're going to have a button here. This will make sure that once the villager is selected, they'll be able to leave. And then once the villager has been cured, he can... Uh, once the villager has been zombified, and then once he's been cured, he can leave. And this, this of course, will lead off. Um, one thing that we are actually going to need is getting is to get a zombie here as well as getting a dispenser and a bunch of weakness potions so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go take care of that and I'll meet you guys right back here alright guys we got a zombie hopefully we'll be able to get him into the spot alright come on follow me follow me come on let's see if we can get this Come on! Just one more push. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh jeez, alright. Uh, I'd completely forgotten how difficult it was to be dealing with zombies, trying to get mobs into certain spots in this game. Oh boy. Come on, bro. Just move. What the? Where are you going, bro? That is not... You have no business being there. Uh, I hope he doesn't die. That would be really unfortunate. Oh, boy. Alright. Come on, bro. Follow me. Just get in the stupid hole, bro. Why are you so against it, bro? There we go. We did it, guys. All right, I got to quickly name tag him. Get rid of that. And we're going to close it on him. We did it, guys. Oh, oh, oh. We finally captured a zombie. Now, I can actually finish building this. That was really the one thing that was actually holding me back from finishing, and I needed to capture a zombie. And now, we have him. All right, so it's been a bit of time since the last clip, but now I've prepared all the materials that we're actually gonna need to build this trading hall. And I decided that yes, it's just gonna continue this way out. And I even came up with what I think is a pretty nice design. So sit back, relax, and watch me build this magnificent trading hall. And just like that, we have built it. Now, uh, one of the other tasks that we need to do is we need to fill the workstations of each of these villager stations. And then, of course, we have to do the really annoying work, which is going to be putting villagers in each of these tubes. Uh, to do that, we're probably going to have to remove all these blocks here, which is going to be kind of annoying, but it's whatever. And we're going to have to drag the minecarts to each one of them. 
Um, it's gonna be quite a bit of work, but uh, you know, it's it's just how it is. We gotta, we just have to do this. Um, there's really no way around it. Um, so let me see. I want to make lecterns, and to do that, whoops, we only needed ten bookshelves actually. Um, so. Bam. Okay, so it's just slabs. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to build up all the villager workstations. And then one other thing that we do need is going to be, as you can see, I only have one golden apple currently and only six splash potions of weakness. However, there are 24 total cells for the villagers. And the goal is for today to fill up every single one of them. So that means I'm going to need to brew a bunch more potions, gather up a bunch more gold because... Currently, we actually have no more gold. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out something about that. And then, yeah. So I will see you guys in a bit. Finally, after quite a bit of work to get everything sorted, I had to go into the nether to get all this gold from mostly bastions. I actually nearly died. I popped a totem, had to eat my only enchanted golden apple that I owned. But now, we finally have all the resources needed in order to cure zombie villagers, in order to fill up um, this whole trading hall. So uh, here's what we're going to be doing. I'm just going to probably just time lapse it. We're going to have to build, oh boy, build some sort of track system. And I'm going to speed it up because otherwise it's going to be pretty boring. So sit back, relax, and... Enjoy the last part of the trading hall. This is a problem. Oh boy. I'm genuinely not sure how to fix this. We're gonna have to, uh. Oh boy. So we're gonna have to, like, actually fill in a bunch of blocks, I think. That's probably the only way we can get it so that he only will spawn in the correct spot let's see if this does it guys oh boy if it doesn't it's really gonna be annoying oh my god oh how did i not see that one spot oh god i have no blocks and the villagers are here all right and he has a sword which means he actually does like a ton of damage right now so how in the world are we gonna do this we need to get him back in here. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good thing is, he probably won't despawn. The bad thing is, 
We really don't want him to go touch the villagers. So we're going to have to attempt to do something like that. Oh, this is like the worst thing that could have happened. All right. Oh, my God. He does so much damage. All right. We have to put that on. This is like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know how this happened. I'm going to be completely honest. All right. Come on. We want to block off this. That's not a path. Oh, my God. What? How did he fall? What? What are you doing? Why did you fall? Oh, my God, bro. What are you doing? Bro. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Don't tell me you can't pathfind on the stupid rails. Oh, my God, bro. Also, we're running out of food. Oh, my God. This just gets better and better, doesn't it? All right, let's see if we can do this now. Come on, buddy. Just this way. Walk with me here. We're going to see if this tactic will work. We're just going to actually just jump. Yes! Oh, my God. We got him. We got him. All right, guys. Now we're going to resume the work. guys and as you can see <clears throat> we have finally completely finished the villager trading hall huh? we got villagers in all the cells and I've started to trade with them like we got one max level farmer been trading with these guys as well these guys take iron which is really nice we got a lot of resources we can actually trade that we farm which means we've really got pretty much free emeralds None of the librarians are too amazing for their trades, but I don't think I have any of them maxed out yet. So we don't quite know if we're going to get any good books or not. However, we don't really have a need for good books anyways, because all the stuff that we want to enchant is already enchanted. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a long one. It's been a lot of effort, so I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.